When I bring the specimens back, they're not all beautifully spread like this. This takes quite a bit of preparation. This is our field room. We don't bring any specimens into the museum until they've gone through our minus 80 degree freezer for at least three days. We want to be sure not to bring any pests into the collection that can damage the collection. <laughs> These have been here for a little while. When I'm in the field, I need to somehow manage these specimens. We'll bring a box like this with layers of tissue, and in between the layers of tissue, we will put some moths. And there's some damage certainly that occurs, but for the most part, they come through quite well. So we'll take a couple of these. So anything that has a different label will be a different level, different layer within the box. So these specimens were all collected at the same time. This is the one case where it's okay to put the pin through the middle of the body and not off to the left. So it's gonna get a pin through the thorax. And make sure that it's perpendicular from all the angles. And I will push that up. leave enough space at the top to be able to grab onto it. I'm going to bring it over to my board. I have the groove set so that the body will fit in there. I'll push it down so that the wings oops, are just resting on the board. I don't want them to be popped up. I want them to be resting flat. And I'll use another pin tease the wings out. Pull that out a little bit. Oops. Hopefully my next one will be smoother. And the position we've more or less agreed on for the wings is not a natural position at all. They don't fly with their wings quite this far forward. And certainly they don't rest on trees with their wings in this position. Get my pieces of wax paper. Now what I'm doing is I am taking the pins out of the wings that I put there temporarily just to hold them in place. And if I leave those pins in there, it'll leave a nice big hole that I don't want to have in the specimen. But by taking the, the pins out while they're still fresh, it allows those holes to close up a little bit. And now because of my OCD, I am putting the antennae out just a little bit so we can see them nicely. Okay, let's try another specimen. So look at this lovely green moth here. have veins running through them that give them their structure and rigidity when they're flying. And so I'm putting the pins right behind some of these thicker veins that I know about, which otherwise I would tear right through the wing if I were putting a pin and, and pulling the wing like that. So by putting it behind those nice strong veins, I can pull the wing into position. 
Now we'll just let this sit for two or three days. Probably one day is enough, but I like to give it two or three days for them to fully dry in this position. Once the specimens are dry, we'll take them off the board. So here's some that have been on the board for a little longer. We'll add the labels to them, and then they go into the collection. They are not safe from bugs while they are sitting on these boards, and that's why I like to have them there for a minimum amount of time. Once I take them off the board and they go into the drawer, the drawer then goes to the freezer and stays in there for three days just to make sure that nothing got picked up while they're sitting out on the boards.